What does the empowered living space mean? Mm -hmm. That sounds really fascinating to me. Yeah. The empowered living space. So when I was building the concept of my business and I knew I wanted to get into coaching, well, what kind of coaching? What is the concept going to be? Right. It was really resonating with this concept of empowered living, which I first learned from Dr. David Hawkins. There's a reflection point, which he calls, he considers the point of empowerment. And he says that is the point in life when people stop blaming the outside world for everything that happens to them right. and they start to take full responsibility for everything in their life. And that's really the perception that I really liked was, okay, what does it look like if I'm taking that into my life as an empowered person? That means I'm no longer blaming my kids for making me mad. That means when they make me mad, I'm saying, okay, well, what trigger did they hit? What is going on inside of me? Maybe in some cases I'm tired. I haven't put up enough boundaries. Um, and so it's really taking responsibility for all of the things. If this bad thing happens or this hard thing happens, what is the lesson for me? And so it's really taking full responsibility of everything that happens in our life and using that as a learning and a growth opportunity. So that's, that's where I really pulled in the concept of empowered living. And then I pulled in space because in healing, you're giving space to a lot of people. And so I wanted it to show that you've got space for your transformation. I'm holding space for you to go through your transformation. Define that. Define what an empowerment coach mm -hmm. actually is and yes. some of the additional work you do. Mm -hmm. For me, it's taking that concept of empowered living and applying it into their lives. And so really helping them see the places, what are those beliefs that are disempowering you? And then combining the energy healing on top of that, because in my experience with the belief, there's always a suppressed emotion underneath. That's why just mindset work is really hard yeah. to get anywhere because you haven't dealt with the emotion. And so from the empowered coach, empowerment coach perspective, we're looking at the mindset. That's what's the disempowering belief. And then we do the energy healing to release the block. So that way we can plug into the truth and start to pull that authentic energy back in. But then I also look at it from a different angle of just from an overall energy perspective, where am I giving my energy away? Where am I giving my power away? So it's really where all the places where disempowering ourselves, where are we putting our authority on other people? How maybe is my energy leaking? So in some cases, there's just energy leakages that we're not aware of. And so it's really looking at all of the things that are coming up and really helping people take control of their beliefs, their energy, so that way they feel like they are in charge of their energy. They are the best authority in their lives. So you really are an empowered empowerment coach. Sure, I like that, <laughs> yes. See?